Welcome back, 0K fans. This is Shadow 53 with another exhibition slash tutorial match. Once again, we have Killer versus D Deebs, and this is going to be on Iced Coffee, which, before I get started, I should point out that this map is actually a little bit tricky. I mean, it looks kind of typical, but the thing is that air strats actually work phenomenally well on this map, or at least better than you'd expect for a map of this size. So it's one of those things where it can be a little bit surprising how well things like air and possibly gunships can work. So I'm not going to say the players should be doing it. It's just if it happens, it's not as weird or unusual as it would be on a normal 8x8 map or on most 8x8 maps. But anyway, also I'm kind of basing that analysis off of higher level play, so not sure about the lower level stuff. But anyway, getting started. Deeb's immediately starting out going for the Spiderbot Factory, which, I mean... Deebs does like the Spider Factory, so I'm not surprised. However, I'm suspecting he might be doing it because the map does look like it's hilly enough that it requires it. For reference, it is not. This map is actually fully bot pathable. I go to the commander. The only areas that aren't bot pathable are the sides of the main base, which are themselves not really accessible anyway. The backside is bot pathable, which actually is a bit of a mistake. That wasn't really meant to happen, but oh well. It's not bad. It actually works out pretty well. It does. It leaves some interesting strategies to go with. So the backsides are bot pathable. The oh right, I forgot to fix that. The rest of the map is fully bot pathable. Everything that's not purple is bot pathable. So other than the the actual choke points and some little tiny bits in the very very center, everything's bot pathable. So it's really not necessary to go spider here. But if you want to, go for it. Just bear in mind it's not strictly necessary. And killer is going for the gunship, and it looks like he's going to go for. I think he's going to try com nabbing. Yep, he is going for calm nap. He's getting some nats. Okay, this is just killer's just being a bit of a troll here. Because calm napping is especially given that he's pushed he pushed the vindicator. He used his commander to push the vindicator instead of building metal extractors. Now, at this point, Deeves is aware of the gunships thanks to that flea, but he's not aware necessarily of the fact that a calm nap is incoming. Now, in order to con con just countering a calm nap is easy. Just move. You can't actually pick up moving units. So all you have to do is have, I mean, it's a bit hard because the, the point in the gnat is to make sure the unit can't move. But at that point, Deeb's got his commander nabbed without even having it get stunned first. I mean, that's the point in the gnat in that combo. But even without that, it's just, yeah. Also, it's kind of funny because at this point, you would normally have built, especially someone, Deeb's being kind of defensive before in the last game we casted him. You would actually be building defen a defender by now at this stage. So, yeah, it's a little bit unusual the way he did that. But yeah, you want to typically go for the three metal extract your factory three metal extractors, about 10 power worth of power plants. So, like three to five windmills. Actually, two or three windmills, honestly, with this map and with a commander power. And then build up defender and radar, or laser tower and radar. And Deeb's commander getting not killed, actually. Nat's going to come in and try to stun it out, but it's not dead. So the Vindicator's going to try to finish it off, and that commander is going down. Deeb's lost his commander, and that was a successful comm nap. However, Killer didn't actually build up at the same time. Didn't have any constructors, didn't have any economy going on. He's been morphing. He hasn't been expanding at the same time, so at this point... He and Deeves aren't that different economically. Deeves needs to get a Weaver up in order to actually start building things, and he has one. So that's good. However, Killer really didn't take full advantage of that strategy. Especially since Deeb ha Deeves got so much energy at this point that losing his commander... Like, all these power plants. Losing his commander really doesn't mean a whole lot in terms of economy. Now, if Killer lost his commander, it'd be considerably different, but Deeves losing his commander... Yeah, that doesn't matter so much. And now Killer has to rebuild, has to build a new factory. So it's time for Deeves to just build up small attack force, which he has. And expanding as well, which he is doing. So ultimately, that's a bit of a blow, but not huge. Although at this point, Deeves is actually running really low on power. Now, even with that, he's still pretty good for power. Like, the thing is, Deeves is running even with power with Killer, and Killer has his commander with its six power income. Or six energy income. That is there. Oh, yeah, actually, Norm pointing out that the commander is metal for Killer. Should Killer choose to reclaim it, which so far he has not. Killer has not actually gone to reclaim this yet. He is starting to, from the looks of it, or he might be. 
So that would be the biggest thing the killer could get from here, is basically an extra 10 metal per second from Deeves' commander. And that would last for 550 metals worth of metal, which is... That's a lot. That's a good couple dozen units. Well, okay. That's a good... Not a couple dozen units. That's a good like, dozen glaives. But anyway, or not quite a dozen, but... About nine or ten glaives. At any rate, he's going for rocks instead, which are the... That's the right choice against the Spider Factory, just to point out. You, you don't really want to go glazing against the Spider Factory, but Rocco's... you still be able to get five or six of those alone from the Commander. And reclaiming the Vindicator as well to get that extra income to push forward with it. Because you really doesn't need the Vindicator anymore. It's done its job. And at the same time, the Weaver is coming forward, and Deebs is actually not falling too far behind on economy. What is he going for for unit composition? He's going for Venoms and Redbacks. Not a bad choice. On a map like this, you do want to build a few fleas just to scout around, but it's not the most important thing in the world. Fleas are big. You want to have them, you want to have them to scout, but you don't have to have them as much on this map due to its size. It's kind of small, it doesn't really make as big of a difference. It matters a little bit, but not as much as it would on something larger. In a 10x10, 12x12 map, something like Trojan Hills or Hide and Seek is a big one for this, where you need to have a lot of fleas going around. And that Vindicator fully reclaimed, and Killer looks like he's going to be going to reclaim the commander that he got from Deebs. So at this point, his only economic advantage is reclaiming. Uh, no, he's not! He's completely leaving that by. Killer, why are you letting that go? Set up, set a Conjurer to, con to reclaim it, or two. Build a Caretaker, for goodness sakes. Just build a Caretaker right next to here, and then it'll reclaim, and then when it's done, it'll push the factory more. And then have a Conjurer pushing the factory at the same time. What the heck? I don't know. And Killer is not actually, well, he's not lying entirely. He can see what's going on there, but yeah, taunting in chat, whatever. It's more, just casual 1v1 game. But yeah, Deebs actually is not going for bad unit composition in this game. It's kind of hard to go for bad unit composition as spiders, unless you're going straight for crab without anything to support it. Venoms, sorry, Re Venoms and Redbacks at this stage aren't bad. Recluses are not a bad idea against a bunch of Roccos. Actually, that's a pretty good idea against a bunch of Roccos, come to think of it. Crabs are also a decent idea, though that's more for distraction's sake. They do deal a lot of damage, but the Roccos can circle them pretty quickly. And Killer setting up a nice line of Roccos, not attacking quite yet. Neither player really raiding a lot, that's the thing. A few, a do half dozen fleas sent around the map would work nicely. A few glaives sent around the map, like one or two glaives sent around the map just to see what's going on, would see what's going on. They would die, but Killer at this point does not have great radar coverage. He has half the map, which isn't bad, but he neither player really knows what the other player is doing. Not specifically, anyway. They don't actually know what the other player is doing. And with Spider Factory, you really do need to scout. You need to know where you can set up attacks. The big advantage being terrain and the fact that you can't fire through terrain, so basically you just set up ambushes. Which this map actually isn't very good for doing. And at this point, Killer once again letting himself float. He is not building any units. He, okay, he is building a Black Dawn. That's, that's not bad, but he is... Okay, now he has learned to repeat build. Apparently in this game he learned to repeat Q. That's good to see. And it looks like Venom's... The Venom is being sent out to scout... That's the Flea's job. Crab as well. Deebs, I think, might be jumping the gun on this a bit. He does have enough metal to push it, though. However, I still think... Might be a little bit risky. Venom coming in is stunning out Metal Extractor. Just a bit of harassment. Like I said, that's what Fleas are supposed to be do doing. It's gonna work the... Killer's not actually attacking it too much. But yeah, that Venom's gonna be there for a while, stunning that out. Now, why is... Okay, Deeds is probably waiting for the crab. Once that's done, he's probably going to move forward. Getting more Venoms on top of that. I think he might be repeating crab and Venom. And once again, like last game, I think this might be too soon. Why? Okay. Neither player really attacking right now. They... they... Deeds doing that one harassment actually does manage to get rid of the Metal Extractor. That is surprising. Killer, why did you let that happen? All right, that... Really was not necessary. And the Venom moving in, it's gonna get damaged. It's gonna get destroyed by the defenders. That much is certain. It's it's dead. The defenders will stop it. 
but at the same time, the crab is done, and Deebs is still pushing forward. At this point, Killer floating heavily on metal. He has a black on, but that's about it, and while there aren't a whole lot of tarantulas from the last time... Actually, I think there might be the one. Yeah, there's one tarantula. That won't really do too much good. However, the Venoms will. Whatever survives, basically. Actually, the Venoms and Redbacks will. Remember, Gungeons fly very low to the ground, so they aren't especially useful against... If you can't kill it on the ground, you're probably not going to kill it with gunships. Not if the gunships are hanging around, anyway. And now the Rockos are moving in for a flank. Deebs is wisely using the hill. That is not a bad idea, though with these units, it's not the biggest great plan either. And also, not lining up his units. This is a really big mistake here. He needs to not line up his units. Firstly, because in general, you don't want to do that so they don't block each other. But mainly because the Black Dawn is going to be able to destroy everything. This attack here will destroy most of the army, or just miss. Well, okay, if it hadn't missed, it would have done a lot of damage, but... Got kind of lucky, that Black Dawn is actually going down. But yeah, that that was mostly luck. His army was really poorly positioned. Single splash attack like that, aimed properly, would have destroyed it. Or at least heavily damaged it. That is... That cannot be emphasized enough. Over... Once again, no real raiding going on. This is the biggest criticism I have for these players right now, is neither of them are raiding a lot. More so for Deebs than for Killer. Actually, Deebs going for a Sharpshooter, which... He probably knows of the Crab coming in. So I can see why he's doing that. Sharpshooter is actually a good idea with the Crab, especially when the Crab is in motion. It isn't the moment, but... If it is, it... That'll be a good idea. One Glaive out here should not be used to fight the forces of... Deebs head-on. It should be used to attack on the side, hit the periphery. Damage the economy. That's what he needs to do. However, Deebs is coming in pretty strong as well. The Sharpshooter can destroy the crab effectively. Is it going... It's not targeting, though. Killer is not targeting that crab. He can see it. He can attack it. He could have attacked it, though. Not anymore. Getting stunned out by the Venoms and bypassing the Rockers completely. Now the height advantage on their side. This is actually going in Deebs' favor, though in this case, unlike last game, is a bit less surprising. Deebs did do the harassment. He's the only person who's done any harassment this game. He's the only person who really pushed forward at all this game. The calm nap was one thing, but at the same time, Deebs had enough in reserve to actually deal with losing his commander. And now it's like he's going to win the game once again. Getting rid of the Klogimod factory, and at this point, Killer has no factory. He has his commander. Pushing that one forward, but that's still not going to do a whole lot of good. So, really, this is more of a game for Killer's sake. Raid! Harass and raid. Spiders are slow. Even with fleas, they see where you're going, but that's about it. Just throw a few glaives around the map. It's not the biggest deal, especially when they've given you their commander, or you've grabbed their commander and you have this reclaim. You can just raid them out, but no. Deeb's actually had enough money to push them, and not just this. He's pushing... Or I think he was pushing more... Okay, he hasn't been pushing more crabs, but still. This point is just cleanup work. Deeb's has this game, and it's entirely because... He was never really stopped, never really raided. N nothing really came in. He had he didn't have a whole lot of forces, honestly, in the center of the map. Those Rockos could have taken out everything he had with very little trouble. A dozen Rockos pretty much wrecks the Spider Factory full stop. There's very little they can do without good positioning or possibly a crab. And even a crab is kind of tough, but yeah. With good positioning, there isn't a whole lot they can't do. This crab not in range of anything down on the, on the west side of the map, but still, it's... Yeah. This is done. Killer has lost this game, and... It's just... Lack of raiding. That's, that's the takeaway from here, I'd say. Is raid often. Raid early and often, especially against Spiderbot Factory. Venom is the only real threat that... Of Redbacks to a lesser extent. Venoms and Redbacks are the threat, but if you can avoid them, and you know where they are, and that's not too hard to do, especially with radar... That's what you need to do. I mean, Norm was pointing out that Killer was using a team strategy with his commander. His commander morphing up with heavy Nanolathe and Lazarus device is kind of a team strategy, which leads me to believe that Killer is more of a team player than he is a 1v1 player. Very important thing in 1v1, though. For anyone coming in from teams, is that 1v1 is a situation where you need to raid a lot. You need to raid a lot, you need to defend a bit. Have a few defenses here and there, not too much, just defend a bit. Stingers, by the way, should be more often in the center of the map to stop large armies. But that's beside the point. The point is you want to raid, slow down your opponent's economic expansion. Not 
don't be stupid about it, but just make sure you have stuff going on. Make sure you know what your opponent's up to, and then... After that, just attack with whatever works. I mean, in this case, Spider Factory is heavily vulnerable to Rocco's. Rocco spam wrecks the Spider Factory. And that was the thing. That was the best thing to do. So yeah, once again, Deebs takes this, and it looks like it's going to be game. There is a Shield Up Factory, which is actually building a decent mix. Bandits and Rogues, not a bad idea in this case, though. Once again, not attacking too heavily with this, and the Crab really doing more than it should have. That Sharpshooter could have destroyed the Crab. The Sharpshooter, when the Crab is in motion, just needs two shots to kill it. Well, three shots, but the Crab was already damaged at the time. And the Crab was in motion. A bit of micromanagement there would have gotten rid of the Crab. But that is... that is it. This is done, and Deeb's maids, well... Didn't have much to worry about the Spider Factory. Managed to make it... managed to have it work. Although, like I said, part of that was a lack of rating. Spider Factory is really bad at dealing with heavy raiding. He did build some lotuses. He built lotuses at every metal extractor, which is not a bad thing to do with the Spider Bot Factory. But still, yeah, it's tough. The Venoms, they do stun, but they don't do a whole lot of damage individually. And these rogues actually not doing a bad job pushing everything back. The crab needs to move up, though. Deebs needs to pay attention to that and get it up. If he does, that will get it to north. Why is that crab staying there? It needs to be going north. Building another crab, which is not a terrible idea. He doesn't have an economic advantage. He doesn't... He actually has a lot of reclaim. He should be spending a couple weavers here as well. This is another thing to do. Once you get past the point where both... Once the map is fairly evenly split, or has been evenly split, you want to reclaim. That's your main source of income. At this point, Deebs could actually claim pretty much everything that Killer has for metal extractors as well. But reclaim is going to be the big thing. However... Killer is actually coming in and dealing quite a bit of damage. The crab is moving north, finally. And this stinger will get in this way. Oh, no, not quite. Actually, does... It misses completely, but only has one more shot. Oh, wow. Misses again. That crab really had a bad angle for the stinger. Needs to keep... Needs to get the crab to stop, though. Get it to stop in range of something. It, it cannot work well while moving. It really can't. And that... Okay, now the stinger hit. Yeah, the crab needs to not be moving. It's takes a third of the damage when it's stationary. Very important thing to bear in mind. Crabs take one-third damage when stationary. That cannot be repeated enough. And that crab actually could take out a lot of stuff. If it was... If this flanked... If it was flanked by these... All these units here coming from the north. These came in from the north. And the crab came in from the south. Stopped in a range of the stinger and just tore it to shreds. That would work wonderfully. Oh, actually, Norm pointing out that the missing was because it was based on radar. A killer only has radar, not line of sight. And actually, yeah, apparently that's true. Judging by the way the gray areas in the map are, he does have... Okay, it's hard to tell on this map. I grant that. Still, at this point, killer is prepping up a line for an attack. I mean, he's prepping a line across this choke point here, which is not going to work too well once he actually starts to attack. He's going to have to run single file through the choke point at this point. Like this choke point right here. That's going to be a problem. And Deeb's moving in for an attack. Not sure if they both realize that this is not crossable by anything. I mean, really, anything. That, that's the whole point. These areas are not meant to be pathable. I think maybe Hovers. Hovers might be able to do it, but that's about it. And no one's playing Hovers in this map, so it doesn't matter. Rogue's pushing back as Deeb's is pushing forward around both sides. He's going for a nice flank here, possibly unintentionally. Units over are starting to clump up, and the Rogues are showing their power here. Yeah, this is kind of the tough part of the Spider Factory. Fleas or fleas or recluses. That's what he needs to do. And nice roach. Nice roach playment by Deebs there. But yeah, fleas and recluses. That's what he needs to do. That's what's necessary to get through this. Venoms and redbacks are hard countered pretty much by rogues and rockos. Terrain does help out with that. But yeah, it's a hard counter pretty much. The crab does do wonders against them. But still, that, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. It's not how it works, so that's unfortunate. Really worth pointing out, that is... That's a big thing, and this crab... Why is the crab moving? That crab should have stayed stationary. Does get rid of quite a few ro rogues, that's the thing. This crab is really the only thing that Deebs has. Actually, both crabs. Though, the one to the south is apparently not... Is it dead? I can't believe it died. But anyway, this one in the north is... 
It's running away. It should just be stationary. I, I, just think, I don't think Deeds quite realizes that the way that crabs get microed. Is that you have to stop them in range. That's what they do. Seriously, where is that crab down here? Is this, is this the only crab? No, it is not the only crab. There's another one in production, and the third one is... Oh, the third one went back north. What? Oh, okay, that's where... This is more of an army, army positioning thing. Flanking. Flanking is always a good idea. There's a reason why it's just typically considered... Well, that's such a common strategy in real life, because you can't easily deal with th threats from multiple sides, especially when the sides are kind of far apart. Yeah, this Racketeer Rogue combo is working out decently well for Killer. I would suggest that he does get more bandits to actually deal with... Well, no, maybe not bandits. Roaches, maybe, like, roaches at the choke points wouldn't be a bad idea. And... On top of that, uh, apart from that though, this actually is working okay. I mean, I really can't argue too much with this, but however, the crab does get rid of the rogues. Like, that's kind of the problem. The crab is being an issue. And recklesses have been acquired. So, Deebs is getting a pretty good counter setup here. Well, Killer doesn't really have much. I mean, with a shield bot factory, what would you use? Thugs wouldn't be a terrible idea just for the fact that they would get in the way, but once again, crabs have splash damage, so the shield doesn't do them much good. And Killer throws in the towel. That is game. So once again, Deebs does win. This time, not so much by dumb luck, but still, Killer really could have had that. Just came down to didn't use the... He should have reclaimed the commander. He should have... Well, he should have mucked the sharpshooter when he came in. He should have just raided the entire game. That's the thing. He really should have gotten raiding going on the entire game. I mean, he had a... He could have gotten a couple of blast wings, actually, off the gunship plant. Just sent them around to either scout out or raid. Or just put them around to know what's going on. Or maybe gnats. Stun out the laser towers and then come in with glaives. Stuff like that. Given that he went for a gunship start, would probably not have been a bad idea. But anyway, that is Deez winning the game. And I think I'm just going to go for... Well, I don't know. I might go for something. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Those are the only two games that I had from Deebs for commenting on and for setting up as an idea of what to do for new players. I'm not sure if this really worked well as a new player tutorial game set, but that's kind of what I was going for this stream. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me tonight, ending a bit early. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm not going to be here on Saturday. It is my cousin's birthday party, so I'm going to be not here. I'm not going to be doing a stream this coming Saturday, so sorry about that. I realize it's kind of my prime time day, but I am busy. So anyway, Thank you all for watching, everybody, and have a good night.